We're here at the Ma'o Organic Farm native plant ground cover experiment and we are 10 weeks after planting. We're in August uh, 21st and uh, we planted back in June and then we're also five weeks after our first hand weeding. And so today we're going to take a look at each of the treatment plots to look at some of the recovery and establishment of the different native plants and look at some of the weed pressures uh, post hand weeding. What I am happy to report is that for all of the native plant treatments we had high level of success in terms of establishment uh, which was uh, directly related to the uh, drip irrigation that was available for this study. So here we're in the Naupaka plots and here we see at five weeks after hand weeding a much reduced weed pressure within the plot. Uh, and the, the weed control uh, provided by Naupaka is somewhat variable. Some, are, some weed pressures within the treatments are higher than others. Um, Oh, and I associate that with a lack of canopy that's being generated. However, we do see a real reduction in the weed pressures within these treatments. So I suspect that the weed competition that's being created by Naupaka is probably through root competition. So here we're within a Nanea plot. This is our legume and it's a uh, low growing ground cover that um, is, um, had, produces runners. And it provides okay weed competition, and as you can see in this plot. But again, this is a variable response. In some of the other plots, the weed pressures are a little heavier. Um, also, what we're finding out with Nanea, even though we have excellent survival, it does seem to be susceptible to mite and aphid, which may not be compatible with a vegetable crop production system. So here in the Peely grass plots, you'll see how the Peely has really established nicely and has provided really excellent weed control uh, five weeks after hand weeding. And I expect that from the grasses, and so I'm really happy to see that it's uh, holding true. Uh, but what you also notice is look at the difference between five weeks after hand weeding and one week after hand weeding. The difference in growth rates is quite significant, where it appears that even though Peely grass is a good competitor in a stabilized environment, it does not do very well when it's in competition with other exotic plants on a more even playing field. So the trick to getting peely grass to, to be a good weed control uh, ground cover is to get it established in a weed free setting and allow it to fill in the areas where you want it to occupy. So here in the Ahuava plots, this right now is the clear winner early in this trial in terms of establishment and weed control. Again, none of the plots are weed free, but the level of competition that the, uh, the sedge provides is pretty significant. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's pretty fantastic. And also notice at one week after hand weeding versus five weeks after hand weeding, even in competition with exotic plants uh, in an unweeded situation, the Ahuava did very well in establishment, uh, thus showing real strong competitive abilities in this type of situation. Now the, the the next challenge for this particular plant for it to work in say a vegetable production system is, is it going to be competitive against our vegetable crop? And that's something we'll have to work out. If it is, is there a mechanism for management and control such as mowing or the use of organically certified herbicides that will allow for us to manage it and reduce the level of competition but yet still occupy the landscape and provide the benefits that we're looking for? So here we're in a weedy, unchecked uh, border row of the experiment just to give you an idea of the level of uh, competition and occupation by these weed species. We got some spiny amaranth, we got the mallow, and also some guinea grass and buffalo grass. So we got a mixture of broad leaves and grasses in intermixing here. Now I'm in the Naupaka plot and what you'll notice is that we got excellent uh, establishment of Naupaka. They're all surviving and doing quite well. The weed control and the suppression is marginal, but at the very least, with this kind of survival and growth that we're getting from Naupaka, it's my hope that in the long term it'll eventually displace these other plants from the system and not create problems in the future. So in the weedy unchecked border row of Nanea, you'll notice there's very little weed control and suppression by this native plant. Uh, the spiny amaranth, which was fairly common in these plots, is still a substantial problem here. 
Uh, it's a plant I don't like dealing with or a weed I don't like to deal with. It's now my worst weed. Um, but what you will notice over here, what I found interesting is how the nanea is starting to grow up on the amaranth. So maybe there is some hope for it yet, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath so far. Here in the peely grass plots, similar to the nanea, the peely grass really struggles to provide meaningful competition against these exotic plants. And to reiterate, we know that the peely grass does very well in establishment and stabilizing the environment when it's planted in a weed-free situation. But when planted in competition with these other exotics, it really struggles to assume dominance on the landscape. So contrary to the other native plant treatments, we're in the Ahuava plot, and you'll notice the level of establishment and weed suppression that's created by this sedge plant. We do have a single guinea grass plant here that is uh, still uh, established or occupying the area. But the overall weed suppression that's being created by Ahuava is really nothing short of fantastic. The real objective of this research is to demonstrate an organic weed management strategy that focuses on stabilizing the landscape. And in this case, I'm going to stabilize the landscape with native plants as ground covers. And you'll notice even at 70 days after planting, I have yet to introduce a vegetable crop into this system. And that's because an important aspect of this strategy is to treat your ground covers as being just as important as the vegetable crop itself. And the better I take care of these plants, the better my weed control situation becomes. And that reduces my reliance on tillage and hand pulling as part of the strategy.